there. There, Jason. Yeah, I got to figure out. Well, uh, let's plug in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll get this figured out, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> it ain't that bright. How do I? How do I friggin' turn this thing around now? Should be a little uh, icon with two arrows somewhere in the screen. You said technology and I do not get along, and apparently there's a good reason for it. Hell. Sorry, guys, I'm not that bright, apparently. <laughs> oh, me. I still turn the wrong freaking way. There we go. That's what I look like, apparently. <laughs> we think we got this thing figured out ish. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry, guys, it's been one of them friggin' days, apparently. All right. Now we can shave. Is it too early to start drinking? What? Is it too early to start drinking? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> All right. How is everyone? I don't know if you've seen this brush, Ken. Um, ceramic. Pretty cool. There, Jason. Where'd you get that from? Uh, Stonefield. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice and heavy. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you and I were talking which razor yesterday. I don't have a Canadian flare tip. I got a British ones, but I found I had this. It's uh, it's a Gillette new long comb. Oh yeah, Canadian. And it's from the. It's Canadian. So you tell me, feather or Voshkod, how much damage do you want to see me do? Feather. Feather. <laughs> you really want to make me bleed. I do. <laughs> yeah. So everyone knows we're both using uh, Echoes of Rain, Tal and Steel. I'm using Schick Injector E2 and a Windhorse Pottery ceramic handle with plus soft knots. You, uh, you paste lather, don't you, Jason? For me? You paste lather, don't you? I'm going to do a bowl lather today. Okay, because you lather off, you just load off the puck, do you? Yeah, I'm going to load off the puck okay. and then bowl lather. Yeah. Here, that's what uh, Jonathan was saying, too, that uh, it's tough getting the, the right size for the knot. Yeah, I was going to use your brush there, Jason, but I figured, well... Richard C. Otter is a cop west of on Toronto, so we'll remember stay up here, Veterans Day in the States, so I want to use uh, the synthetic that I got from Richard. Yeah, man. This scent's slowly growing on me. I don't know if I buy it again, but it's a nice change. And I'll be yeah, using a as well, Thirsty Badger. Yeah, I might be a little bit simple. And this one in there, I just spent the last hour doing up samples for one of the guys out west. So, yeah. I had time, so I figured, and I've been meaning to do it for the last couple of weeks. I just haven't had time with trucking. So, yeah. Sit there at the table. So, yeah, sniffing soap all morning there. It's colognes and aftershaves. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? It is. It opens up a little bit differently. Like, I find it gets a little, a little sweeter. Once you lather it, there's juniper berry in there. I don't know if that's what's doing it, but. Yeah, you guys start talking that way. Like I said, I, a little bit, you know, I just don't have that much knowledge about this stuff, right? 
I'm not extremely knowledgeable either, but that's the only thing I can see it being. I mean, it's definitely woodsy. It's definitely outdoorsy. It's not like any of my citruses, of course, and it's definitely not like anything like my Atmatic or my Drecky or any of that stuff. It's yeah. Well, you did that uh, Sean Mullins uh, Marlock Woods, or did I send you a sample of that? You did, yeah, and it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it builds up quick, though. Yeah, it does. What did you do last, last night? Me? Yeah. Uh from trucking and just basically get caught up on YouTube videos, watched your new one. Uh, I had to watch a Halloween one again, just needed a freaking good laugh after this week trucking. Uh, watched Justin's new video. Yeah, I caught his too. Yeah, he was using the blood of Drecky. Yeah. I'm so far behind on videos. All right, I'm going to call that good enough. Let's lather everyone. Wet the face. What are you figuring on a two or a three pass? Two. I don't do three passes anymore. No? No. This cuts down irritation and I just always found the uh, across the grain not really to do much for me. So, well, you shave daily anyway, don't you? For me, you're a daily shaver anyway, aren't you? I am, yeah. See, where I'm only like, I mean, I'm trucking all week. I don't bother taking my gear on the road. I should. I mean, I got Jared's uh, travel bowl there. I just haven't used it yet. But I, don't, I find like you know, if you're using carts, who cares? You take a glove, you know, you take your cart out and on the road, not a big deal. Yeah. But the yank this. It just seems like it'd be too much hassle. So I'm kind of end up usually doing three passes depending on how aggressive the razor is I got. Yeah. I love this little razor that you gave me, Ken. Really comfortable. That little uh the little chick injector. Yeah. I'm not sure what I, I tried a couple of, or a few different injectors and I don't know if my angle's bad, if it's because I've got a, you know, a week's worth of growth, which is, you know, that's three days for normal guys, but I find it hard to mow through. Yeah, this one, I can see that with that. It is a little more tame. Uh, Schick E2, Jared. For me. But I find with these chicks, you want to keep them like right, the blade like flat against your face, right? Different angle than D. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I've got uh, got a few of them. Like I said, that one I gave you, I borrowed one off Kim Gordon there, the Type L, and then I got the PAA replica. Yeah, I'm going to try that PAA. Yeah, I'll lend it to you. When I, or have you got one? Are you getting one or what? I don't know. I think if I was to buy... One from him, from Doug. I would buy the uh, the Starling, the gem. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, but every time I go on there, he's out of stock. Yeah, they just released it. I think they sold out pretty quick. Yeah, he does. And I'm also wondering about his original DLC. I mean, I've got the Ascension, which I'm going to lend you. I wonder, I don't know if I was talking to you or someone else. Is it kind of, does it defeat the purpose to have the Ascension and the DLC? I mean, one's a slightly amped up version of the other, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you weren't talking to me about that, but it is a good question, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any of you guys watching know or not, but I thought about it. I think it's in stock. Because, I mean, you know, there's the Ascension. Yeah. Uh, the DLC is really, okay, it is a really mild one, is it, Jared? And by the way, guys, my I'm getting older. My near vision is shot to hell. That's why I look like an idiot wearing uh, Mr. Magoo glasses. <laughs> Contact lenses are great, but I just can't see up close. So, so the DOC is quite... I mean, I've got the uh, Razor Rock SLOC. I used it once, and I was really surprised. That was extremely mild.
just adding more water in my bowl here to see how much this lather can take. This stuff's pretty slick. I wouldn't say it's the slickest stuff I've used, but what I always liked about towel and steel is the, uh, the post shave. I thought it's pretty solid. Well, so far, like I said, I've never used that uh, that long comb before. And that's, like I said, I figured it'd be a little bit more bite to it, but it's really, well, okay. It Yeah, I guess it did get me a little bit, but not much. You find the scent changed at all? That's lathered? Uh, it's, I definitely like it better out of the bowl. Once it's lathered up, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, when I first come in, like I said, I just come in from trucking yesterday there just for an hour to check the mail in case it was at the post office. I wanted to get it in case it was going to be a late night, but yeah. uh, they, it was inside the door there. My landlord put it inside the door, thank God. But um, it's, yeah, like I said, it's definitely not a scent I'm, I'm used to. Yeah. Hey, you like that yakky uh, melanager, and that's one of your favorites, isn't it? How's your mustache coming, by the way, Ken? You said you're growing her out for November. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you see it. That's you just what we get. Just needs time, man. Just needs time. God, last time I grew one, like I said, I was in my early 20s, and a friend of a friend who apparently had no social skills whatsoever said, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer. Because <laughs> um, it curled up at the end, so it's like, oh, great. I look like a... <laughs> A gay cannibal necrophilia or a necrophiliac. Freaking A, thanks. <laughs> just, just what I wanted to be compared to. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, well, we'll give it a try. Like I said, it's, I mix it up. I was probably, yeah, 28, 29 last time because there was one. I had one at my, brother's, at my brother's wedding in the picture. So I was about 28 when he got married. So that was the last time I've had a mustache, I think. Yeah, we'll give it a try. I guess mm -hmm. it was at Madame's League or whatever mentioned it, and I think he was talking about, you know, maybe wanting me to grow like like a pencil mustache or like a Clark Gable. Yeah. I don't – I'm pretty sure that's uh, – I, I can't pull that off. Yeah, look at this lather, like nice and <laughs> – <laughs> nice peaks, as they say. You're using one of Jared's bowls too, aren't you? You should have replied, and you look delicious. <laughs> That's what you should have said to that guy, Ken, when he called you Dahmer. And you look oh, delicious. <laughs> I said many years ago, and uh, yeah, it kind of stuck with me. What the what the hell's uh, melon yaki? What are we? Okay, what's the what's the yaki melon? What's that? Or am I just reading that wrong? That's um. One of Jared's favorite razors. Okay, apparently I don't pay enough attention. Hey, Josh. Sorry, uh, hey, I messed up earlier there. I know you tried tuning in twice and we couldn't get it going, but I'm good now. Yeah, apparently, like I said, my 16, my 17 year old niece isn't here to teach me how to use technology. Oh, and there's and there's uh, the man himself responsible for the scent, Sean. Hey, Sean. Sean. Thank you. I just uh, said picked up yesterday. And actually, I just done up while I was waiting there. I did up a couple of samples to go to uh, Jamie Eldon out west. He's asked for samples as well. So I put in a couple of samples of the Marlog or the Marlog Woods and the Frankenwine. Maybe I will do three passes today just to kind of hang out a little bit longer. Yeah, my neck is always a bit of an issue trying to. Yeah, that's definitely growing on me. Like I said, it's normally, like I said, I'm more into citrus in the summertime and then like cinnamons and all that stuff. You know, that heavier scented stuff like um, like the Dickens cider or the stuff like that in the wintertime. But that's yeah. growing on me. My next video is actually going to be on this this soap. So, I've already talked to uh, talked to Sean a little bit, get some inside info, and I talked to Ryan from Talon and Steel. So, what do 
you going to be using with that? What razor? I'm not too sure. I haven't decided yet. Maybe a straight. Yeah. I kind of go on like, you know, little runs with where I'll only use an SE for a while or I'll use a straight for a while. It's not that I get bored. It's just I kind of like get, I start digging what I'm using and I just want to keep using it. So, yeah. How are you eating at the brewery? <laughs> no, I think what I'm going to do is I was going to use uh, Devin Hardcore. He, uh, I bought a straight off him, a 66. I was going to use that. And then you and I talked about it. It's like, you know, let's use a Canadian. So, but the one, uh, the 66 I just picked up in the mail yesterday, I got in the market so I could tell which one was his. Because, I mean, of course, I've got about three or four 66s. Yeah. So just so I knew which judge was his. But. I think I'll use this in the next in the next video. Yeah, yeah I'd be so curious. Like I said, that is like. Well, like I said, it did a nice job on my arm. I mean, my arms are not here to begin with, but they have a lot less now. <laughs> just just a quick rinse off and. I'm noticing that this soap can take quite a bit of water, which is nice. You don't use an alum block very often, do you, Jason? You usually just go right to the witch halo, don't you? Yeah. I find, like, using alum too much, like, it's salt, right? So it can kind of mess up my post shave a little bit. Okay. Dry me out. So I don't use it too often. Oh, that super gray hair. Hey, Dorn. Yeah, Jared, I used the uh, light grandpa sandalwood you sent me. And very, very faint. Like, I I got no scent off it when I was lathering it. But I had the sample still in the bowl this morning to dry out and actually smelt it this morning for whatever reason and had a nice scent. Okay, thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Why is that, Sean? Just out of curiosity, like, why do some aftershaves require you to use it on damp skin? Is it like the alcohol or something in there that's a little tacky? Or what? Did you just use a alum block between passes? Uh, no, I usually do it just at the end. Oh, I thought I saw you uh, wiping something on your face there. I wasn't too sure what it was. Yeah, no, it's an alum. I just did three, three passes. I wanted to. I wasn't sure what you were doing, so I tried to keep up with you because I'm slow as death. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a look, like I said, just what you said, right? Just play with it, just see. Yeah, how much water it can take. Yeah, like I said, I usually don't get a chance to mess around. Well, I'm lazy. I don't. You know, some of the soaps that we have and that, you know, just take the chance to experiment, see what they will do. Yeah. Okay, Sean. Gotcha. I heard that wild rose scent is, uh, is pretty good, Jared. Okay, mm -hmm. he's coming out with wild rose again. Sorry? It looks like uh, Ken Kaminsky is coming out with wild rose again. I hear it's a good scent. He really needs to up his scent game, though. I know, like, he probably has got his customers who like his, how faint his scents are, but I think for most people, they want to be able to smell what they're shaving with, so I think he'd do a lot better if he had stronger scents. Well, that surprised me with your video there I watched last night. I mean, I've talked to Chris Troniak there, and his scents, at least what I bought last year from him, were really mild. And for you, said his scent strength just amped it up a lot. Yeah, yeah, like, the scents you sent me, the uh, the citrus and the peppermint were very mild, but the, uh, the barbershop he, he made is very, very strong. I like it. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, two, we're two and a half passes out of that and still. Nice. I just add a whole bunch of water. We'll see what I can 
take this soap to? Yeah, with me, it's always one extreme or the other. Either, either I drown the soap or I don't load enough soap or I load too much. There's no... But I mean, hell, there's enough soap there. Like I said, with that load, to do another four passes. Hey, Sean. Mason. <laughs> Two Sean's in here. All right, Jerry, man. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, Jerry. Thanks, man. Should probably give a shout out too to all the uh, vets out there in the States and Canada. It is Remembrance Day and Veterans Day after all. Yeah, thank you for all that you guys do. Uh, actually, I forgot what's the proper etiquette. You can't really wish someone happy Remembrance Day. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what the proper etiquette was. There. Yeah, this can take a lot of uh, water, this soap, so. All right, as per Sean's instructions, going to wet the face and apply the aftershave. And for those watching, this is kind of a uh, coniferous scent. I think Sean's inspiration was, uh, you know, you're sitting on a deck in autumn and the uh, wind's blowing at you and you're kind of getting the sense of everything. I don't know, he can explain it better. It's like coffee and tobacco and herbs and that kind of thing. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of the Marlog Woods. Yeah. And for those who don't know, uh, mild grooming uh, is used a lot by Chris Madden on another cut above. It's getting some good exposure and for good reason. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I, that's not too bad. Your lather bowl, the synthetic from Richard, it's just, I mean, the TNS, from, you know, with Sean, and like, yeah, that stuff's. Yeah, like I could keep adding water to this and it would take it easily. Yeah, I might just go experiment with it after we get off here. I right? just go go put on go put on YouTube and uh, until the girlfriend comes over and just see what it'll do. Just see if I can drown it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sean, this stuff is awesome. I'm really glad you guys did the collaboration to put this stuff together. Like, cause this is. I if those who don't know, it was made for a Canadian wet shavers group. Talon Steele's from Winnipeg, and uh, Sean from Al Grooming, I think, is from out of Ontario. So, Sean came up with the scent and the aftershave, and obviously, Talon Steele is the soap base. So, the one thing I will say is that, and I forgot, uh, Jason, it was Sean that gave me the sample of the TNS 150, Canada 150. So, Sean, mm -hmm. thank you very much for that. Um, I took a sip of it. I'm um, not really my thing. Uh, Jason, remind me, it's going in a box to you. I'll <laughs> piff it on. With, uh, but like I said, I took one sniff of it. And no disrespect, guys, but no, it's okay. Um, I came, I smelled, it's time to go. It's not for me. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell it's supposed to smell like. <laughs> uh, Sean would be the one to know, but um <laughs> I was joking with Josh there. I had a few comments to pass about it. Like I said, just being typical jackass. But yeah, it's it yeah, it's not for me. But like I said, mm -hmm. this is You like saying it's just... hard to uh bowl lather, Sean? You're getting a pretty good bowl lather here. <laughs> like so, I mean, what would you say the scent notes on that are? Like I said, it's... Nice and glossy, this stuff. Like, this has got a nice sheen. Yeah. Right, I mean, I usually don't go play with my shave soap, but like I said, that's just... No, that's... Uh, you guys did an awesome job, like I said, the scent and the slickness of this. Like I said, I was one of the reasons I kind of wish we had used a straight razor because, I mean, you, like you guys said, it's a good test, right? If it's if it's slick enough for a straight, it's just slick enough for anything else. Yeah. 
Oh. That's a nice shave. Really nice post shave feel on that stuff. The after shave is pretty awesome, Sean. I think Sean mentioned he was going to be working on some uh, fragrance oil scents, not the essential oils. So we can produce more of, uh, you know, your cologne style. So. In the one like the... Uh, coffee and what did you just say there, Sean? Uh, coffee, Canadian whiskey, mm -hmm. and maple syrup. Is that what you said in the 150? I don't get that at all for uh, 150. <laughs> yeah, maybe I read that wrong because we're having multiple conversations, but I, I, it smells like dirt. I'm sorry, it smells like dirt. <laughs> but not, not really, like I said, I'll go, I'll go sniff it again later, but uh, yeah. I'll style the, the mustache. Yeah, I'll style mine another couple of months when it grows in enough to style. <laughs> this is about almost four weeks for me. What's the wife think of it, though? Well, she hates it. <laughs> Shave that fucking thing off every day. <laughs> What's the soul patch? Well, she hates everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, my girlfriend doesn't bitch about this. Thank God. But I get a kick out of when people do. Um, explains why nobody likes me because I just tell them if you don't like it, don't grow one. And if it's a woman is saying that, it amazes me why they get upset. <laughs> oh, um, using Vombros, it's called, Sean. Picked it up at a craft show in town here. This guy's out of Morden. I think just which is south of Winnipeg. So it's more of a medium hold. It's not the strongest, that's for sure. Like definitely something I have to apply throughout the day. But I never even think to use like beard oil or anything like that. And I definitely don't use like a bomb or a wax. I don't know how that, like with me, like with you being home every day, I don't know if it would build up in your beard or your mustache or not with me being gone all the time. I, I just think don't know. I think they say to rinse out beard oil and wash it like every three to five days. If you wash it every day, it dries out. But I was watching at Lather be shaved and they had a mustache special. And they actually, uh, Doug is recommending to uh, use Allen Block on your mustache at night, help style it, and then use beard oil. He says, don't use beard oil uh, when you're trying to style it. So He says not to twist it too, right? Because it was a blurb, it'll break the ends or something. Yeah. Well, he says it's like tension, like on a spring, right? So if you twist it throughout the day, it's going to, you know, uncurl or, you know, so. Yeah, because, I mean, I'll be in the truck and I'll just be, you know, like this all friggin' day. Or right? you're yeah. just a fidget, right? I yeah. mean, I don't know if comparing my goatee is different than other than a mustache or not, but. Actually, I just spent all day doing this. Like I said, with this, it's so friggin' curly, I got to take a blow dryer to it or, or no, it's, it, it looks like this if I don't take a blow dryer to it. Need a hair straightener. Maybe Michelle yeah. got one. <laughs> I have one. That's why I think you know, the ultimate test will be when the girlfriend comes over later. And I love it. Uh, whether she does or not. And I don't know what uh, Jason's wife thinks of it, but uh, when Michelle comes over later, that'll uh, I'll, I'll get her opinion, see what she thinks of the smell, of the scent of it. My, my wife thinks it's okay. She likes the uh, the barber shop that I got from uh, Highland Springs a lot more. There's a lot more of it. I think she just yeah, likes good sense. No, she 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 doesn't mind this one. So yeah. No, uh, Michelle wasn't a big fan of the Atomic Pumpkin. I don't know what your what your wife thought, but my Michelle, the Atomic Pumpkin really wasn't her thing. Yeah, my my wife wasn't too crazy for it either. She's going. I think it's the. Uh, the bay rum in there that she didn't like so yeah it's definitely got a spiciness to it that i find quite strong i like it but it's quite i mean for me i don't know am i sending you a sample of the cider house five too or what jason yeah uh, i think you said you were yeah i don't have any of it so yeah well you will be then i'll get that out to you tomorrow or tuesday before i head to work nice thanks man
And I got some Barbado coming from uh, from Stonefield as well. Yeah, well, you, I was going to say, because I was going to send you some more. But you got the full bottle that. coming, from that, do you? Yeah, I got a whole one coming. Nice. I love that stuff. That stuff is so good. It smells like pure nail polish, but that's, that's the part I, I can't go with the smell of it. Like I said, it takes my breath away. It chokes me. Yeah, but it doesn't last long. I find like the second you... Uh, the second you use it, the smell goes away. So yeah. All right. It's there, and I'm glad I've got it. And I mean, they've got some other products too, and I do have some of those around. But like I said, I just I found the scent. I like I said that uh, that rubbing alcohol scent just so strong. It just I I actually took it to my barber one day. He used it, and it, like I said, he freaking near choked me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Post shave's good, Sean. Like, uh, feels really nice and soft. So, like, I used this two days ago, and it, it definitely good post shave feel throughout the day. Good skin food in there. So, no, I mean, I don't know about anyone else in the CWS, but I'm hoping you guys will do this like an annual thing, put out in a limited edition. You know, different artisans get together and come out with a limited edition for the some of the different groups or whatever. Like I said, I love this stuff. Well, I think uh, Russ, like from uh, Wild West Shaving, and uh, Uncle John came out with a uh, a collaboration. I don't think it was a group thing, but you know they're they're part of uh, or part of it was just shaving before that group kind of splintered. But they came out with the scent. So I it was that uh, Dr. John Uncle John? Uncle John and uh, Wild West. So what no, else you got, to John? Hey, well, I'm going to call it a day now. I think my in-laws are here. I just heard the door, so could do some yard work. I appreciate it, and sorry for the screw up there. Like I said, uh, mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't test run this in advance, and I should have just to see if I could figure out how the hell it worked. I figured I'd try and get the laptop set up; it'd be a lot easier with the laptop. Wouldn't be, wouldn't need these things quite as much. But uh, no, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So thanks very much, and the guys that subscribe to our channels. Uh, I speak for both Jason and I that, you know, we really appreciate, you know, you guys taking the time to watch, right? There's just so much out there, right? You guys could be watching Girls in Bikinis instead you're watching us shave. <laughs> and truthfully, I, you know, I, I think that's great. Yeah, we appreciate it. For sure. All right, man, we have a good day. We'll uh, talk again. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. You guys take care. All right. See you, everyone. All right, take care. Bye-bye.